continuous line urban sketching, right? This is my shtick with continuous line. And I'm seeing what you guys are doing, right? Like everyone has their own way of using continuous line. And I something I want to say here too is like this, I'm not like, oh, you've got to be a continuous line artist and nothing else. I think that uh, continuous, a practice of continuous line will take you everywhere. <laughs> Places you uh, uh, that you would never even dream of, right? Well, let's see. I, I just feel like my continuous line practice has improved my life as an artist, right? Like this is a continuous line urban sketch, and I kind of plan this out, right? Like when I this is at the top of the steps in Guanajuato. It's like. I don't know, six, 600 steps or something like that. And I was up at the top and I, I put my pen down right over here, right? And um, I remember when I was about to do this, I was like, okay, Mig, you're gonna go up here and across like that, right? Like I had it all figured out which way I was gonna do, do it. I put a light pencil border around the, the paper just to kind of keep myself in bounds. And so I had this whole plan that I was gonna start here and go brrr, something like that. Well, I start here, oh, and you can see my pen went meow and drew this guy because there was a guy sitting a few steps down. And then I went across like this and I started doing stuff over here and I was like going, oh my God, Megan, you had planned on going over here, but now you're over here. So how are you gonna get back? Oh my God. So I literally just, it was a whole, like a symphony, right? Like knowing where my pen was, but not always watching it, looking at my, the scenery in front of me. Where am I going? Where do I have to go? And it literally is like all these parts, right? All these moving, all these parts of me that were like, oh, just keep skating, right? Just keep skating, keep keep going, right? So I did, I jumped right over to here, went over here, got back over here. And then I, I don't even remember, I just started skating, right? And there's a rhythm to it. Somebody said to me recently, oh, well, they don't, that was, you're just doing warm ups. That's all you do, right? I beg your pardon. I don't think this is drawing warm-ups, right? Only the unenlightened would think that the continuous line urban sketching is just drawing warm-ups, right? We continuous liners know better, right? And so it is a drawing warm-up because I do that with the lines, but it's also a wonderfully energetic way to tell a story, right? So here's this kind of complicated scene in Guanajuato, and I swear to God, when I finished, I was like, oh, <laughs> because it's a lot, right? Those of you that are doing it know it's, you know, it's super fun, challenging. It kind of takes you away from the world of everything that's going on in the world, right? And it drops you into wherever you're at, right? Even if you're sitting at your kitchen table, drawing your coffee cup, which I'm still, a big fan of draw those coffee cups right um, whatever it is your continuous lining even if it's from a photo right it drops you into that right sometimes we have to work from a photo it's a crazy world now whatever and so sometimes we work from photos right uh, you know and when by doing that it allows you to detach from the noise and uh, practice your line drawing, right? Um, so this is one I did also of Juanawata with a Sharpie. That other one was with my fountain pen. So Juanawata has all these wonderful magic alleyways and the houses are all crazy color, crazy colors. And so with my Sharpie, I, I think I started up here, but if you look at the lines, you can see I've skipped, right? This is not all I've said it before too, continuous line, there's no continuous line police, no one's gonna come and say, hey, you picked up your pen, right? Cause that's totally acceptable. 
the continuous line, in theory, it's about not pausing, right? Or just pushing through your fears. That's how we use it here. Push it through your fears, right? There's no absolute rule here, right? So in this, I had been in Guanajuato a couple days at this point, and so I had a rhythm to my drawing, and I my pen was like this. I was skating on the page. And so while I consider this a continuous line, the lines are not, <laughs> they're not, it's not all one line, only because I was moving at such a fast pace and I was skating, right? Like to me, that's the magic, is the skating. When you're, when your eye hand coordination is feeling so confident that you can just skate on the page, right? You just skate, right? So, um, you know, and then by having this practice of, of strengthening eye-hand coordination, I feel like it allows me to do anything. <laughs> um, no, anything of like what I want to try my hand at. Um, like, I have not done acrylic painting. I, I don't know that I ever have. I can't even remember. And... I've been wanting to play with a, a folk art style, right? So this is a fountain here in Mexico City, Diana the Huntress. And uh, so I did this. And, you know, this isn't a continuous line because there's no line. And this is acrylic, right? So I sketched it out with a pencil a little bit. But really, this is, as you would call, direct watercolor. It's direct uh, acrylic, right? And I feel like because I've strengthened my eye-hand coordination and I continue to do with my continuous line practice, I was able to draw this street scene with cars and buses and a water fountain. And see, I just put dots on it with a toothpick, right? Like, I feel like the continuous line practice strengthens my drawing chops so I can do whatever it is I set out to do, right? So this I did last night, right? And I did it pretty darn quickly. Quick is not the goal, but it's as, as someone who does urban sketching, continuous line urban sketching, it means I don't have to be out there all day. Like sometimes it would be two hours I'd be out there. Now I'm like under an hour. I'd like get out there and I'm done. Go have lunch or whatever. So I, I love the continuous line warm-ups because it gives it, it strengthens my practice across the board, right? So when I set out to do urban sketching of a complicated scene, because I'm a continuous liner, I haven't warmed up with you guys in a while.